Welcome to my channel Living Linux. So in my previous video I showed you how to set up a virtual machine to emulate an Intel CPU and we're using the boot CD from Hyron and we are going to boot mini Windows XP. And since the ARM CPU is now emulating an Intel CPU, this is not very efficient. And I already tested this with my other Pinebook and you should not use this to play games because other than things like Solitaire or those kind of simple games there's simply not enough performance to play any serious games let's just say like Call of Duty or Doom or whatever but in a way it's impressive to see that the ARM CPU is able to emulate the Intel CPU And here is the Windows XP logo. logo. And perhaps this sort of remembers you of the times when the early Pentium CPUs. Well, it's still running. And let's see if it, no, it doesn't pick up the mouse yet. Let's see if we need to resize to VM. It is actually a little bit bigger. Let's see if I. Yep. Just needed to adjust a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't crash. I mean like with my earlier experiments then I did see a crash once so let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's see if we can see what is actually happening. Now well, we have the start button. Let's see if it's
Well, it's even so busy that it doesn't even have time to update the mouse pointer. Or at least that it follows the mouse pointer as input. still not responding Really sure what's happening. So what let's see if we say send control alt delete. Ah. So now we have the process explorer you will see that it's really using or it was using all the CPU cycles so now looks like it's ready or at least done with booting and let's see if we can uh, it's the same thing it doesn't respond to the mouse okay so I press the pine key and then the start menu comes up I can navigate with the arrow keys so let's just say we'll just see if it wants to start solitaire It's a bit strange that it's not recognizing the mouse and I'm not really sure why that is. I mean, the first time that I started it, it did crash, so perhaps something is damaged because I have tested this on my other Pinebook and then the mouse was working, so I'm not really sure what's going on here um, Yeah, 
that's a bit of a pity. I mean, you can see that it is working, but the mouse is no longer responding. And well, perhaps I should just reinstall everything and see if the mouse starts working then. And this is the demo for now and perhaps I will come back when I fix the mouse so perhaps we'll s I'll see you in the next video hello again after some searching it is recommended not to have a external USB mouse connected when you set things up. Once Windows XP is running you can plug in the external USB mouse and as you can see then it actually does work. And the information that I saw was that they say it might work um, with the USB mouse already plugged in when you set up the USB emulation in the virtual machine. So that's all for now and well as you can see also with Solitaire it's really horribly slow. So it's not really useful unless it's only something very simple that you're trying to run. But it is interesting to see that with the Pinebook Pro you can actually run Windows XP. And I will continue to investigate if I can get the virtual machine running without emulating a different CPU, but just a virtual machine that runs directly on the ARM CPU. That's all for now, and I hope to see you again in my next video.